Okay, let's retopo and moto. This is how I edit in real time. All right, so let's retopo this guy. We're going to give this a, a color too so we can look at it a little bit on the easier side. Uh, oh, we don't want Zen UI. What do we want? We want. We want topology. So go to the topology tab. And you'll see this is all crazy because, you know, it's the selected. Uh, Selected mesh. We're going to get it out of the container. We go Z this over from ZBrush. So this is selected. So it's thinking that this is a topology mesh. So we're just going to press N and make a new mesh container. This is the low poly. Uh, let's say that this is a semi high poly mesh. Let's go ahead and uh, retopo some of this. So topology pen. Uh, if you hold down control and just click on the mesh, you'll you'll drag out a quad. And uh, if you start moving these around, you can you can move points around, you can move the quad around, and you'll see it's just trying to conform as best as it can. Um, you can hold shift and just drag these edges out, and it will just kind of attempt to conform as best as possible. Um, let's just keep going here. If you hold uh, shift right and you drag an edge out, if you hold the control and shift, You'll smooth when you when you drag, and then uh, I think it's control. Let me see, Alt Control. I'm trying to remember. There it is. All right, Shift. So Shift right, uh, Shift left click, dragging an edge out or point out will do this. Um, if you undo those, if you uh, shift instead of left click to drag out woogie what's up man uh, and then hold down so hold down shift instead of left clicking to drag out hold down shift right click to drag out you will drag out entire loops right and uh, obviously wiggle these around and or um, smooth to try and uh, it'll try its best to conform Uh, I was a 3DS Max user before this, before Moto, but uh, I'm Moto all the way now. Oh man, thank you. Five months. You you always say you're never gonna be, but you're always an MLG in my book, man. Never forget. Okay, so contour. This is kind of cool. If you hold down Shift and drag these lines out, you can get these these loops going, right? Uh, and then you can also, let's see, where is it at here? Segments. You can cut the segment count down, and then you can also tell it to be a, um, what is that? A curve or lines. So you can see how many segments that is. And if you drag another one out, you get the same stuff. Just hold down shift and just keep dragging these out. You kind of want to do it at some key areas. So let's just do like, like that. Anywho, so if you select these, and this doesn't always work. Sometimes I get some weird results. Use bridge and click. You can see it's bridged between those. And then uh, if you hold down the left click and drag, you can add loops to it. Oh my God, it's amazing. Uh, so just go ahead and I don't know if you can consecutively add loops like this. Let's see what happens. Oh my God. It just knows what? Oh Jesus. I'm blowing my mind. <laughs> uh, so let's select all that. Let's go ahead and just run a smooth and try and conform. So obviously there's some stuff to, uh, change. Uh, move some things around, try and get some more conforming. One nice thing is when you get the uh, silhouette view like this, and you see that's like not matching. You can just drag it right to the edge and it does a pretty good job of just holding its hold, hold your ground. You see how I'm, I'm just kind of moving stuff around. 
Oh man, that's not looking too hot. There we go. So yeah, you can just do some profile checking. Uh, another thing too is, uh, so this is kind of a weird example, but if you, so if you get really close to the edge and then it pops away, that means you've gone too far. Just move your mouse back a little bit and it'll pop right up to that edge. You'll see it happen multiple times. It's kind of weird. So you can see it, it's like it bounces if you go too far because it's trying to stay on the mesh. But yeah, that's essentially the retopoing uh, tools. There's smooth, there's add loops. And the nice thing about like things like adding loop is it all, it does it while conforming to the mesh. So like if you're like, oh, I actually need some more detail there, you can do that and you can be rest assured that that, that loop you added is snapping to the, uh, to the geometry. So you can do some pretty quick topo work let's uh let's do this let's try and see the other thing is you can move this around let's see here it has to be cutting through the there we go oh it's so weird but uh yeah Let's go ahead and delete those. We'll just do a couple here. There's also retopoing, auto retopo in here now. Topology sketch. If you need that, we'll just uh, do some of this. Let's paint down all those and then double click in the background while holding shift. So I just select all these edges, hold shift, double click, it'll select all. And then you can do bridge and click. And see, this is the weirdness I was talking about. Sometimes you get some, some weird stuff going on. I'm not sure what is causing that. Um, usually it means the loops here are twisted. And so it connected, but it connected on a twist. So let's just uh, go ahead and grab that whole section there. Yeah, you see it's like mixing into itself. Gross. Let's, um, oh yeah. What? Hang on here. Oh, I see. There we go. So we can try that again. It might also be because, oops, because we don't have uh, a good contour path for it to connect through now see it's still doing it in some of the spots no idea what causes that uh, another crazy thing so what I would normally do in that case is like just go in and like erase that geometry and then just clean it up let's uh, go ahead and delete this and let's see yeah this is moto how you doing lane outside lane oh my god that's dangerous be careful Oh, speaking of dangerous, I almost ran into someone on the bicycle lane today on my way to work. Almost took me out. The person was just texting on their phone, but sitting there, not biking. And so they just blended in with the environment because everything's moving so fast. So they're just part of the environment. And when I noticed the person, they were like right in front of me. And my body like stiffened up and I like jerked left and then jerked right again and just like his bicycle handle ran across my arm i cussed at the guy <laughs> he probably didn't expect that because you know in sweden no one's like that <laughs> um so we look at the contour line here and we go up to uh let's say let's go to 13 and then we do this one so this one let's go down to like nine so this one has nine edges and this one this one has 13 it freaking bridges those, man. It bridges those. I don't even, I mean, obviously it's it's doing an, an okay, an okay job of it. Like if we hold click this and go down here. As you can see where it's happening is it, 
it welds them right near the end. So you can just kind of go through and uh, selectively weld those. Just so you get some clean. Oh yeah, see this gets weird here. See some weirdness, some weirdness. So in that case, maybe we want to go back to here. Turn all these off. We have these two on. Select this one. See, when there's not enough geometry, you just, oh, whoops, multi slice. And then uh, topology pen. Wiggle it around. Good to go. The other thing is, uh, I think the topology pen's got smart welding. So, like, if you're like dragging edges out like this. Yeah, you can just drag points and it'll just weld them together. Super useful. And it, you know how I was saying if you hold um, shift and right click, you can drag entire edge loops. Um, let's, um, let's do this. All your modeling tools as well work with this geometry while you're doing all this stuff. So we delete these. So you have this whole loop, right? Just use the shift right click and you can just drag these out. It's ridiculous. Um, and then, let's see here. I'm like, and then, actually, that was it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's um, kind of the basics of retopoing. You could actually, if you wanted to, you could go and grab this mesh. And I think... I haven't used it very much. I don't even remember where it's at, but there's an auto retopo. Let me look it up really fast. Selection, right? No. Item. New mesh. There it is. Automatic retopology. Just hit OK. Let's see what happens. Ha! <laughs> well, minus this stuff, this isn't too bad. But you'll have to go through and, like, select this area. Remove that, right? And then... Go back to this one. Maybe select that. I wonder if you can hide and then auto retopo just this. At 50%. Oh, snap, it does. That's kind of cool. Okay, so. And then in that case, you could like go back and clean up this stuff and then. I think down here you'd have to really clean up that topology. But uh, it kind of does it, which is pretty impressive, actually. So, yeah, you clean that up, clean this up, you're good to go. Not as knowledgeable as King Din. Dude, the only king around here is Maru. All right, guys, I've got to get out of here. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, if you have not, follow the stream. Uh, Thank you for all the new subs, any bits, any of that jazz. You guys are the best. Uh, have a productive week. And uh, a special thank you to all of you peoples out there. And Kyle, thank you for the uh, huge flood of people into the Discord. The best of the best. You guys have a nice day or evening, and I will see you guys on Thursday. <sighs> I can breathe now. Later, guys.